Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In this lecture, we are going to learn about the analytical function in HIU. And whenever you go for an interview, definitely there will be a question based on the HIU analytical function. So let's try to understand what is analytical function and what is the purpose of this analytical function. Whenever you are dealing with the HIU data, there will be huge amount of data. And obviously you need to perform some sort of operation on those kind of data. Like let's say you have some salary type of data is there. You have some employee data which is having a multiple columns with some respective department, their department employees and their respective salary. Now in this scenario, let's say you want to find out the maximum salary people from each department. So how to do that? So obviously to get such type of report, you are going to use some of the aggregate function. In SQL, we have aggregate functions are there like max of salary, mean of salary, group by function. Same way in HIU, you can also use the clause, we called it as a rank, dense rank, and we have row number. These are the three analytical functions are there in the HIU which will make your job very easy and it will give you the required information from the huge amount of data. So we are going to see this thing practically. Before I start the practical session, if you are looking for Spark Hadoop training, you can reach out to me. And again, we have a lot of free contents are available on my YouTube channel. You can also enjoy to that. So please do like, subscribe and share this channel with everyone and for training, you can reach out to me on my mobile number or on my email id so let's get started and try to understand about this hiu analytical function in order to understand the rank dense rank and row number functionality let's try to understand this example so here you can see there is a name department and we have a list of salaries of the employees okay now, how this rank function will work, let's try to understand one by one. Now, we have multiple departments are there here. We have account, management, marketing and product management. There are four departments are there. What I will do, let's take this example from the accounting only. Let's take the example of accounting department. Now, on this accounting department, how rank function will work, that is what we are going to learn first. So, what I'm doing, first of all, I am firing this command by using this command you can use your rank function so what this command says the command says partition by department order by salary DESC partition by we will discuss in some time first of all let's concentrate on order by salary dis, DESC DESC means descending order so what I am going to do the top salary, the maximum salary will be on the top and then 50,000, 50,000, 20,000, 10,000. So I have ordered the salary, descending order. Now how about the rank? What I'm doing, there is a, there is a keyword called over. So I'm going to rank the salary. I'm going to rank the salary in the descending order. Okay, which is in descending order. So first of all, 60,000 will get the first rank because it is a maximum salary. After that, 50,000 will get, get the second rank. After that, again, we have 50,000. So it will get the same rank because 50,000 and 50,000, they both will get the same rank. Then we have 20,000. For this 20,000, we are giving four rank. We are not giving. So rank function will assign the rank number as four over here. How? Because one, two, three also has been replaced with two and after that four. So if we have duplicate value, then the next number will get skipped and it will assign directly four over here. One, two, then instead of three, two came here because it was duplicate record Then four and after that last one is five. This is all about the rank. What about the dense rank? Rank and dense rank are almost same, but there is a small difference. There is a small difference between dense rank. Let's try to understand that difference. So what it will do, the maximum salary is 60,000. So obviously it will assign the rank 1. Then it will assign the rank 2, 50,000. Then it will assign the same rank 2 because the salary is same. After that, 
it will assign three in rank function we were assigning directly four but in dense rank we are assigning three that's the difference between the rank and dense rank so it will not skip the number one two after that three will come and then we have four so in the rank function it will skip if the records are getting duplicate the number of records okay the number of duplicate record let's say it is two here then it is three then it will be five okay and what about row number row number is pretty much simple it will directly assign it will directly assign the number with one two three four and five it will not at all take care about the salary's duplicate or not it will directly assign the row number one two three four five likewise so rank will give the rank and dense rank will give the same rank when the salary is getting duplicated but rank will assign the number of directly four and dense rank will assign three row number will directly will assign number like one two three four five same way there is no difference okay now this is for only one document this is for only one department let's say we have multiple departments are there like we have account department management department marketing department and product management i am in a situation where i need to find out the maximum salary maximum salary from each department so what i need to do i need to create a partition so i'll create a partition like this so one partition related to the accounting all my records of accounting will come together all my management record will come together all my marketing record will come together all my product management will come together okay so i'm doing partition by can you see here the syntax partition by department order by salary dis descending order so my descending order means my salary will be there on the top maximum salary will be there and then lower salary then lower salary something like that but we are creating a partition so it will be small small chunk small small chunk of department we are creating now what is the main difference over here now whenever you are creating now here we can see let's say this two example okay these two records i am placing it over here okay now what will be the what will be the rank over here the rank will get reset from one here actually the rank let's say 5000 is here and here it is 20000 okay so the maximum salary in this management department is 50000 okay so the rank it will get it as one after that it will get it as two so it will not follow the rank after this accounting department because accounting department records are finished so it will reset the rank for each department it will reset the rank for each department and that is why it is very easy for us to find out the maximum salary let's say you want to find out the maximum second highest salary so you can find out the second highest salary by looking to the dense rank greater than two or dense rank equals to two the record which is having dense rank equals to two is have your second highest salary this is the second highest salary record second highest salary record okay because this is one partition this is complete one partition okay and from here who is the second one second highest salary this is the one so we it will get assigned one it will get assigned one so this will be your second highest salary from this department let's say i'm taking this department from here also thirty thousand will be the second highest salary because it has fifty thousand on the first so it will get assigned with one then it will get assigned with two 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 okay and after that since it is a dense rank it will be three so this record will go for the second highest salary so that's the difference between the rank dense rank row number and partition by department partition by department means it will divide your column into the small small chunk and from the small small chunk you can find out the maximum salary i hope this is pretty much clear the same example i have 
placed it over here okay and i have created a small blog also which will give you the information about rank dense rank and everything if you are looking for spark and hadoop training you can reach out to me on my number and please do like subscribe and share this channel with everyone bye bye